So now in this video, we're going to look at the 7805 again. We looked at the basic property of it, and uh, I think you can see that number. All right, there, that's pretty good. So L7805CV, and the main thing though is it's a 7805. The 05 means it outputs 5 volts, but we're not going to use it as a 5 volt supply. We're going to use this where we get 1 amp of current, even with a varying load, as long as we have enough voltage coming in. So, in any case, the left pin is input, middle pin is ground, which the tab is also ground, they're connected together, and then the output is the right pin there. What we're going to do, take the input and put it to the positive side of the power supply, right there. And uh, let's zoom in, and you can see right there that the input is going to the positive supply. The output here is going to this jumper. So we'll come to that later. The ground. The middle pin is not connected to anything at the moment. So as we saw before these 10 watt resistors are uh, rather large. You can see how far they go down the uh, breadboard and so that's why I have a jumper down here. I want to connect that side of the resistor to uh, that jumper and then this side of the resistor to that jumper. So we're going from the output over to uh, space right now. We're not connected to anything but we want a direct connection to ground. So I'm going to grab this long green jumper and we can zoom in so we can see this a little closer. So what we're doing is we're putting the 5 volts across the 5 ohms is uh, what we're doing. So middle pin right there and then down here we can connect right there. So now we have our direct connection and our little jumper is kind of indicated by that. Pretty straightforward. So we will grab the uh, power supply. So power supply is off right now. The output is off. As you can see the unit's on. I actually have to unplug it to uh, completely turn it off. So I'm going to hit the uh, power button down here and turn it on. Here you can see I got current limited to 1.18 amps right there. So uh, 1,180 milliamps or 1.18 amps. So I'm going to take this jumper there and now we're going to go to the negative rail. That's the positive up there. And negative rail, you can see we're actually a little bit shy for some reason but pretty close to one amp. So what we're going to do, just raise the uh, voltage a little bit. And uh, yeah, for some reason, it was one amp before, but still, this is close to one amp. You know what? I'm going to turn the power off. This resistor is going to be rather hot if it had been on there longer. Let's go with this resistor. I bet the resistances are slightly different right there so I bet this was the one I was using earlier and there we go we got the uh, one amp pretty much spot on right there and uh, so this probably has a little less just slightly less but you can see if we get the voltage too low then current starts dropping really fast so we need at least 10 ohms so now this is with uh, technically no load. The load is here. That's the jumper. It's a short circuit. The main thing is though that uh, I don't know why I went to point 0.3. We got one. I should not be doing that. Must be getting too hot. So that's a short circuit. Maybe the uh, unit here was getting too hot. So what we're going to do is take uh, this resistor here, give it some resistance. It's working fine. So I'm going to the negative rail. I should probably show that up there. Here we go. So we got over here. And then, uh, yeah, that's hot. I just touched it with my finger. And uh, so heat sink one. should probably use the heat sink one. I have another one. So does not want to go in there and the outputs on. 
unfortunately does not want to go in there. There we go. It's bent out of shape, but oh well. Now we hit the power. So we only got nine volts. We gotta go up. So we got the load. We gotta go up to a 14. It was working pretty good. Now 15, 16. We are at one amp again. So what that tells me was that the uh, we need more voltage because we actually have a load right now. So what that tells me was that the the uh, 7805 was getting too hot. So let's pluck her out of there. And so I got this from the uh, Make Electronics kit. So they come in these packaging. They're nicely labeled. I don't know if it's the best purchase option or not. You can look at them. And they've changed since I bought them, but they probably still got the 7805. So you can see the heat sink right here. And so we'll put in the exact same way. And unfortunately, the heat sink has a little pin that uh, might kind of mess things up. So there we go. We have the uh, heat sink back in, and we're doing just fine, but we have the uh, load. And so we didn't have a problem with the load before with the other one. So I'll go up in voltage. So what I'm going to do is remove the load. Again, it is hot. We're putting one amp of current through it. And so it's a five ohm resistor. So you need five volts across it. And that is five watts. They're rated for 10 watts. To the touch they're still really hot so let's uh, let's do the short again we will go down and uh, there we go 10 volts doing just fine one amp and uh, we raise this you can see it's holding the current really steady right there so I think that heat sink is really helping as the voltage go there you go current went way down so yeah I think we hit the uh, temperature limit, but it has the heat sink, so it is higher. So, in any case, hopefully that all makes sense. And these wires, they're low resistance, and so they're not building up heat. You can think of it kind of as friction. The current that the resistor lets through, it's really slowing down current from what the power supply wants to put through it. And even though it has a limit, you know, it's pushing hard to uh, get the current up to that limit. And so the uh, resistor and the uh, 7805 are limiting the current, not the uh, jumpers. They're letting whatever goes through pretty much. So they got a little bit of resistance. They build up a little bit of heat. I think one amp is their maximum current. But uh, for the most part, they don't get uh, terribly hot, even with relatively high current going through them. So I can touch them right away. I'm not going to touch that. I would use the alligator clip to go to the metal and uh, pluck it if I was going to pluck it. Maybe we'll look at thermal images in an upcoming video. But in uh, any case, hopefully that all made sense. Hopefully I didn't make any mistakes. I had some unexpected stuff here, but I think I handled it pretty well. So this unit, if you get one of these, that turns the light on, that turns the light off. So if I accidentally hit that at the wrong time, the up arrow the uh, backlight will come on. But uh, that's still pretty nice. It's really easy to get the uh, backlight on, on that unit. So, in any case, that's it. Please check out one of these other videos that I'm posting on the screen. Click subscribe, click the bell, and uh, make sure you watch uh, some more videos. That would help a lot. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.